Hey guys, Steph here for Games Defined and welcome back to the After Effects Basic Training Series. This video is going to be on how to import and export your files. So we're going to start off by making a new composition. You can either do this by clicking this button down here or come up to Composition, New Composition. You can also press Ctrl and N for shortcuts on your keyboard, which I always tend to use. First we're going to name the composition. Then on the basic tab you'll see preset. This gives you a preset rev resolution and frame per second. This one, where is it? The one I usually use is HDV slash HDTV 720 at 29.97 frames per second. That's a resolution of 1280 by 720. You can change this yourself just by clicking it and typing the resolution you want, but it will keep to a aspect ratio. So say I want a width of 900, the height will be 506. That is because this button here, this box is checked. If you want to do the width and the height on your, you know, your own resolution, just uncheck that and then you can change everything yourself. I want, I, I don't actually want that. I usually select this option here no this option or the 1080 option the next thing you'll see is the pixel aspect ratio i never really mess around with that because i like to keep it how it is the frame rate you can change that to whatever frame rate you want i usually have 30 which sets it to custom this basically means that within the first second your project is going to go through 30 frames now the higher this is the more detail you can have and the smoother your video is going to look and it also helps with slow motion as well the more frame rate you have the better uh, smoother your slow motion is going to look but I just keep it at 30 resolution you'll see the resolution also down here this basically means how sharp your image is. The, at full resolution, that is crystal clear. Half is obviously half and third and the quarter, uh, as I say. The, the lower this is, the faster your video is going to take to RAM preview. So I usually have it about half or a third when I'm doing a big project. Start time code and duration, you don't really need to well start time code you don't really need to worry about that too much duration is how long you want your project to last so this at the minute is seven seconds so the first zero is for hours second lot of zeros is for minutes then it's seconds and then it's frames so say I want a minute go to the second lot of zeros and type zero one and that's one minute duration background color you know just choose whatever background color you like I'm just gonna keep the orange and then just press actually I'm gonna name that and then just press OK I don't need that so I'm gonna cross that off and I'm gonna delete that with the delete key or just press this button down here now to import something there are four ways to do this with the project panel selected and you'll know it's selected because you'll have this yellow outline around it you can either double click in here or right click import file or come up to file then import or you can press ctrl and i so once you've done one of those four options i'm just going to double click this you have your files that you want to import now if you go to files of type you can either select a certain type of file or just click all files and it will show every single file where wherever your directory is but it won't specifically or necessarily allow you to import all the files you see so if you want to only see the files you can actually import change that to all acceptable files and then you won't have any worries wondering whether you can import it or not so the way to select the objects is you can either just click what you want or just um, click and drag to select everything or 
hold control that selects everything you can also select one thing you want to import hold shift select the last one and it will select everything now or you can either just double click this or click it and then press open and that imports it if you have a folder say we put all of these in a folder and you um, you press on the folder this import folder option will become available if you click that it brings in the folder keeps its uh, same name and then everything will be inside that which is pretty much the same as creating a new folder and dragging everything in there it's just uh, it's just a lot quicker to do that so now that we've learned how to import something I'm just going to open up a project and then I'm going to show you how to export something so we've got our project open that we want to use this project that I'm showing you will actually be put on to the Games Defined channel so you can actually see how I'm doing this but for now we'll just focus on exporting now you can export the video or you can actually save a frame or a certain number of frames as images so say we want to save this as a picture come up to composition save frame as and then you can either choose Photoshop layers or just a file and this is where all your main options are going to be so you've got the render settings they are the current settings is everything you have now but you can edit that to uh, to get the look that you want I never really mess around with this but you can uh, play around with that then you've got your output type so you've got all these different types of files and then you've got your pictures um, your Photoshop file I guess but you can also make your own so if you want to make your own preset come up to output module click make template and then firstly you name it so you got to name it then you press no and then in fact that's not what you do where is it custom output press edit then you get your options so you've got your format and this is a Photoshop sequence so this is a certain um, number of frames or it's just you know it's just the one picture on its own or the PNG sequence that's exactly the same um, so say we want to save a picture so we go to PNG sequence and we can either save it as an RGB which is just the red green and blue colors the alpha on its own so that's the transparency or we can save it with the RGB plus the transparency I'll just keep it at that and um, keep everything else as it is and then all you do is press OK and then OK again and there's your custom output so you don't have to go in there and change it every time if you want to do a video uh, come to make template and name it and then click edit and you want h.264 this is the one I usually use it which is perfect HD and it is really quite a small file size it takes about 7 gig file down to 600 megabytes and it is really good so if you want to resize that from what your composition is you can type it in here or if you want to save it with audio you have to make sure audio output is ticked uh, and then you can mess around with these settings I just usually leave everything as they are so that's that section the next one is output 2 this is where you choose where you want to save your file so all you have to do is click that and then go to where you want to go name it just click save and that's that now the last thing you have to do is click render and it will go through the whole uh, it will go through the whole of your footage and then you'll see it live here and you'll see a yellow progress bar there and then once you've saved it your video will be saved so that's the basics of inputting and outputting files from After Effects hope this video helped Please like, comment and subscribe to Games Defined for more cool videos and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.